the 1000 plot shows intuitively the trend of COVID-19. We start from the time series data. Say today we have number of cases being n. What we do is we go back in time and find the day on which there is just n over 10 or less cases. We go further in time and find the day where there were n over 100 or just less cases. Now what we do is we find the time interval here and call this x days and that y days. Then we're going to plot this time series just by those two numbers. Um, have x here, y there, and that's going to be the point. If we do this to several regions with your COVID-19 data, we see a plot that looks like this. How do we interpret this plot? Well, one thing to notice is the diagonal region represents exponential growth, which is bad. So this is bad. And uh, unfortunately, we see several regions uh, are in this uh, area. Uh, furthermore, the uh, closer we are to the origin, the faster the um, exponent is. And uh, up here, it's somewhat slower. Okay, so that's one thing. The second thing is uh, regions on top here, these are even worse because they are super exponential. Now we see Thailand there. Um, this could be due to uh, the fact it's an artifact. They have more testing now. Uh, in contrast, regions here are better. Uh, they are sub-exponential. In fact, for regions that's around the uh, diagonal, we can read out its x values. For example, for US, we can read out its x is around 11, and we can work out the exponent. So the model here is we have the number of cases n being e to some alpha coefficient times day. And what we know is um, we can estimate alpha by That's roughly speaking 2.3 over x. So if you plug in uh, x equals 11, for example, uh, we have uh, alpha equals uh, about 0 0.2 for the United States. So this is the 100, 1000 plot. Um, I think similar ideas must have been done before. So if you know about it, please send me a reference. Thank you.